Welcome back to Trend Report, sharing all things trending. In the beauty category, you'll be seeing more beauty brands launching scented makeup. Imagine applying blush that smells like peach or chocolate scented bronzer. Huh, remember how I once demonstrated the use of chocolate powder as bronzer? Throwback! Here we have the regular hot chocolate. Right here. Yes, they do smell yummy, but you want to be careful because if you have very sensitive skin, depending on the active ingredients used, it can irritate your skin. So make sure to do a spot test before committing. Highlighting hair trends? Be on a lookout for the undercut designs paired with futuristic colors. Hairmasters Guy Tang and Johnny Spinacos collabed to debut this look. She is channeling My Little Pony, a colorful short undercut with shades of purple, pink, green, orange, and blue. And for look two, we have silver with a shadow root. Gorgeous! If you're craving a change in style, try cooler colors as a fun twist on traditional balayage. Special thanks and shout out to hair color artist Guy Tang for his amazing color and hair sculptor Johnny Spinacos. Please show them some love, give them a follow for that boost of inspiration. Another beauty trend that's been around for a while, but it seems like it's more prevalent online now, is contouring different parts of your body. Personally, I feel like makeup is a fun art where you can express your vision of beauty. Honestly, whatever makes you happy, but like everything in life, moderation's key. The technique itself is pretty basic. All you need is a darker, cool tone matte color in areas you want to recede, and a highlighter to draw attention to areas you want to stand out. And if that's not enough, there's brands making body contouring kits now too. Like this leg contouring kit. Stay tuned for the back contouring kit, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe not. We'll see. Faux freckles. Say that five times. Faux freckles, faux freckles, faux blah, 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 blah. This trend has been popular in Asia for a while, but usually around spring and summertime is where you see most people experimenting with this look. My favorite way to recreate realistic looking freckles is to use matte products, like a matte brow pencil. You want to apply small dots across the bridge of the nose where the sun normally hits the face. If you're looking to elevate your freckles to the next level, give the foil freckles look a try. It has a futuristic feel that captivates beautifully in photos. And you can get creative by using stars or a glitter foil to touch up your look. Color correcting makeup has been a huge trend this year. Most people don't actually need to apply color correcting products to their face. And if you do use them, you want to be sure to apply very sparingly. The tried and true colors you can find in good color correcting palettes will include green, which neutralizes red tones and it helps with rosacea, stubborn acne, and sunburns. Peach neutralizes blue and purple under eye circles on fair to medium skin. You want to use orange for darker skin tones, and it works really well for covering up bruises, veins, and tattoos. Yellow helps with hyperpigmentation and dark spots. Pink can be used as a highlighter on fair skin to help brighten areas, and lavender neutralizes yellow tones to help brighten your complexion. And here I'm going to feature my favorite Ipsy products for this month. First one we have here is the Jelly Pong Pong, which I love the name, Jelly Pong Pong, Neapolitan Palette. It's basically an ultra mini palette with three warm toned shadows for the lid, crease, and liner color. It's travel friendly, so you can throw this in your bag because it's so tiny. Next up, we have the Benefit Tinted Lash Primer. I'm actually excited to have this product featured in the bag because it's kind of like a two-in-one. You can wear this alone as a tinted primer or you can layer another mascara on top to build up your desired length. You guys know me, I'm all about two-in-ones and multifunctional tools. Moving on to the lips, we have here the Buxom Whipped Soft Matte Color. Matte lip colors are not going anywhere, they're definitely here to stay, and a softer texture is always appreciated. I consider rose gold as a beauty staple color because it looks relatively good on all complexion. Starlux is featured in this month's bag with the rose gold cream shadow. Whenever I'm in a hurry, I usually use a cream shadow on my lids. I add it as a wash, quickly do my brows, and I just walk out the door. When it comes to finding a good cream shadow, make sure to find a formula that doesn't crease or smudge. Last but not least, I want to feature the Nomad eyeshadow in Marrakesh Desert Sands. Summer is going to be coming up, so expect a lot of gold and copper tones and eyeshadows for that goddess look. Here are some fashion trends that's been popping up. Baseball caps and bucket hats. Your hats can be paired with a sporty or casual street look. 
A trend in Tokyo that I've been loving are these custom grills, and the one who's been changing the game is Fangophilia. He makes badass yet majestic looking pieces. As you can see here, they're subtle because you can hide or show them whenever you want. And if you're looking for a one-time use as an option, you can purchase these grills online that you can mold yourself at home. And these ones are sold here on Etsy. Yes, they killed shoes are back, and I'm not mad at this trend because they're much easier to walk in than stick thin stilettos. It's better than hobbling over grass with heels that are sunken. <laughs> All right, let's move on to tech trends. A trend that I've been noticing in the app world focuses on mental health and happiness. The goal of this app is essentially to help improve your mood. It does so by these activities and there's games in there that's supposed to promote mental and emotional health and well-being. They claim to be a personal trainer for your mind and this app uses guided meditations to help you combat stress and anxiety. You know how it is, right? It also helps boost your creativity, focuses, and guides you on building better relationships. It's kind of nice. This app allows you to create different patterns, backgrounds, wallpapers, lock screens, whatever it is. Patternator features hundreds of crazy awesome stickers that can be arranged in various different patterns. They're so cute. So this is a photo filtering app that enhances the color that you've chosen in your composition. It's pretty straightforward. Speaking of straightforward, another app that I've loved for the longest time, I've been actually using it for years, is Glitch. And I'm sure you guys have heard of this, but more and more people are using it because it's all about creating these crazy trippy masterpieces now. And you can instantly do it with a click of a button. So this app is a music video community that lets you lip sync to hundreds of different songs and funny sound bites and it's a great way to, you know, use up your time. <laughs> but it's fun, I'm not gonna lie. Also everyone, don't forget to check out the latest chapters of my free webcomic on Webtoons, Helios Femina. You can find it on heliosfemina.com or you can find it on Webtoons. Again, it's free. All right, everyone, so I want to end this video with another Gram Gallery where I like to feature creative Instagram creators. So please check them out, show them some love, and if you have any cool recommendations for other artists that I can feature on Gram Gallery, just comment below and let me know. All right guys, thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs down if you're not digging it so much. I miss you guys, I love you, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next trend report. Good luck, bye.